Hi Capricorn, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-June 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus signs. And it is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. Also, the rules can be reversed because this is a general reading. All right, so Capricorn. Let's see, what is going on with you in June, mid-June to the end of June? What is the overall energy or energies? And we have the answer is yes and offer. Okay, wow. <laughs> well, that's pretty straightforward. It looks like there is an offer that you probably feel inclined to accept or it's just that the answer is yes, there is an offer that is coming in. So let's get into this and see what it is about. And if you like this doll that I have on the desk, I will include the Etsy shop link. It's a friend of mine who makes them. She makes some other little items as well. They're all handmade with a lot of love. They're just beautiful, a lot of detail. Um, this particular one is of, of a woman holding a crystal ball with glitter inside and tarot cards on there. It's just beautiful. I love it. And also, for those of you who are animal lovers, if you would like to donate to a um, nonprofit animal rescue, I will include the link to the one that has been helping me with a couple of injured cats. It's a dog rescue, but she made an exception for, <laughs> for my poor cats. So, and it's actually my sister who owns it. And so I know she does a very, very good job. All right, so Capricorn. For you, we have the Two of Cups, the Devil, and the Three of Wands. All right, so, well, the devil, that is your element here. Um, but there's a reason why it would be showing up. There is definitely love here that is coming up or that is in your life, all right, with this Two of Cups. There might be some fear. There might be some fear with this devil um, attached to that. And because of that fear, I feel like you're kind of holding off. Or if for some of you, maybe you're single because there's an offer coming in, um, it could be that you are kind of afraid of an offer coming in. And so you're kind of just waiting and not actively allowing it to come in. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Let's see for someone else here that is possibly in your life. We have the Chariot, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so a lot of action with non-action in the middle. Somebody is heading, I feel your way here. But there's a bit of a hesitation. I actually feel like this person is coming forward regardless of that hesitation. So I cannot wait to clarify that. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the Strength card for you. For them, we have the Ten of Cups. Mutually, we have the Lovers. Wow. And a message for you, the Four of Wands. Okay, wow. Like, I don't even need to continue this reading. There's some hesitation. There's some fear. Get over it. <laughs> Love is here, <laughs> pretty much. Um, I mean, wow. Wow. I see you overcoming certain challenges here with Strength. Possibly overcoming your fears. I see this person coming in with a lot of love and then mutually between the two of you, it's like love and message happily ever after. Like no joke. But we will clarify. I can't just leave you like that. We gotta clarify, especially that devil and the two of swords because those are the only uh, somewhat negative energies in this reading. So let's see. Let me see the devil. Alright, we 
have the moon and we have the wheel of fortune. Okay, so I feel like, you know, there's accepting some kind of love to come into your life. It might, it might be a little bit scary. I do see this as being a fear now with the moon showing up. Um, some of you might be dealing with a Pisces. Um, doesn't have to be, obviously, just calling out what I see. Also, Cancer is showing up here. Gemini, Leo. So, okay, we got like a whole bunch of signs on the table, so it doesn't matter. But I see you holding on to a fear of a change that might happen in your life. And you're thinking a lot about the future and what this change would be. And I feel like it just kind of makes you feel a little iffy about it. So it could be a particular person as well that you that you're just not sure about that you're having some doubts or hesitation for. Let's see three of wands. The Queen of Wands and Temperance. Yeah, so it feels like you're kind of waiting. I feel like you know maybe you've if there is a particular person who you feel is kind of coming into the picture here, I feel like you might be um, kind of postponing things with them or just taking your time, trying to really find your balance. I feel like, you know, there's this part of you where I don't exactly want to say ego, but it almost feels like, yeah, you just want to make sure you're in control of your own self and of the situation because there's something about it that is just kind of scaring you about the changes that this might lead to for you. It could, it doesn't have to be somebody new. It could be somebody from your past, but either way, I feel like there's some hesitations about a particular person here that you do have some kind of feelings for or that you do feel like you could have something um, beautiful with or just love in general. Let's see for them. Let's see the chariot. The Queen of Cups. Okay, yeah, so this person definitely is moving in your direction. They want this, they have emotions for you, they have feelings for you, or they want to offer you love. And I do see this person as being genuine. Let me see the Two of Swords, why are they hesitating? Maybe because you are. All right, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I see. So this person, well actually I do wanna get one more. The Six of Cups. This person is actually hesitating because they wanna take their time to make sure that it, whatever it is that it is done properly. I feel like this person feels a very deep connection with you. They feel like they have known you. They feel like, and it could even be a soul connection, okay? It could be somebody that you have known for a long time. It could be somebody from your past as well. Um, there's, I feel like this person is aware of your fears of your hesitations because I feel like you've been either kind of keeping them at a, at a distance or just kind of postponing maybe things with them, being a little bit hard to get. Not on purpose though, that's just how you come off to this person and because of that, they're not sure exactly what it is that you want and so I feel like they are putting in the effort to kind of win you over but they're doing it in a way where they're just trying to be very cautious so as not to push you over the edge or scare you scare you off. Let me see this, the Eight of Wands. The Four of Wands. Showing up again. This person wants commitment. This is somebody who is not coming forward just to play around, all right? This is somebody who wants something stable with you. Um, I, I do feel like they feel a, a bond with you, a very strong bond with you, all right? Whether this is someone new or whether you've known them for a long time or from the past, definitely feeling a lot of 
just uh, a strong bond. This person is not playing around. All right, let's see. Let's see strength for you in the near future. The King of Cups and the Five of Swords. Okay, so it could be that you have actually had maybe a little bit of issues with trust. Maybe somebody has deceived you in the past, betrayed you, or I don't know if it's this same person could be for some of you. Whatever that is, I feel like you are moving towards overcoming that. Learning how to trust again. Learning how to make those discernments as well. And using also your intuition and just opening yourself up to love. I do still feel like you might be a little bit hesitant and there might be a little bit of that distrust lingering, but I feel like you you have what it takes and you can sense if this person is being genuine or not in order to help you to open up your heart to it. And a card just fell on the floor and it was actually the Queen of Pentacles. So I do also see this as you standing in your element, in your power, finding your groundedness and finding that trust within yourself to know that you can have love in your life. It doesn't have to be with fear and with betrayal. Let's see the Ten of Cups for them, although it's pretty clear what this person wants. I mean, we already established that. Yeah, the King of Wands. This person is really coming after you. I mean, I, I see this person being passionate. This person wants to help you overcome um, your challenges and your obstacles. They overcome their own. This person just seems like they're very, very genuine and um, very passion-driven, wanting stability, wanting ultimate happiness with you. If you guys can hear that, it's it's the animals outside. I will be dealing with them as soon as I'm done with this reading. All right, and yeah, the lovers. I don't need to say anything else, okay? We have the lovers here. <clears throat> For the mutual energy between the two of you, this is just a very strong bond, a lot of love, and the message for you here is the Four of Wands. This is possible. All right, I feel like this, this is a situation that could even involve marriage. So, Cappy. This was a pretty quick reading for you. So if this resonated, let's get your final message. I see you saying yes to that offer eventually. <laughs> All right, and we have the full moon in Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. So yes, and I do see this connection as working out both in the spiritual sense as well as in the practical sense it feels like it just has has it all a lot of love and take this as a message for you as well to balance out your spirituality as well as practicality you know how much to focus on the physical and the 3d and how much to also focus on your your intuition so capricorn those are your messages thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna go deal with the animals much love